your boy Saint Lucid again and this is another episode of the Godism series. Thank you so much for being here. In love and in light I greet you all. Thank you for watching. Okay so today I want to talk about being yourself. Alright? Your true self. I know we've been taught that we are human beings alone and there's a lot of sleeping gods out there and a lot of people that don't know their true potential and their true power all right and that's what so society has taught us that we are just human beings they wanted to strip us of our true power they wanted to bring in fear to keep us dormant to keep us controlled to keep us under their foot right but I'm here to tell you like I always tell you that you are more than just your human form you are a multi-dimensional being you are love and light at the core you are God okay and when I say God I don't mean it in an egotistic way I don't mean it in um, Oh my God, I'm flexing, I'm God, you know, I don't, I don't mean it in that way. I mean it in a humble love and light way. I mean it as we are all one and we are all peace, we all love, we all connected to source, okay? We are all source, alright? So we are all one and that's why we show love, that's why we show light, that's why we show peace and happiness and joy and all of these high vibrations because that's who we are that's why we show forgiveness to whoever has hurt us to whoever we've seen that has hurt other people you know we don't carry grudges around we forgive we love we show that light no matter what okay now it's our human form it's our human conditioning it's our human programming that teaches us to carry all of this heavy baggage that teaches us to have these grudges that teaches us to hold on to all of these things that are anchoring us down into the 3d dimension okay now when you are grown up in this program when you are born into this program into this conditioning you have been taught to serve self right now when you when you when you're taught to serve self as a human being you taught um, materiality right you taught um, wealth you taught status now that is success in human forms eyes okay with these eyes that is success when you look at all of these things you say all right that is success that's why and I'm not trying to bring down any churches but that's why people would say that pastors are stealing money and all of these things because they look at the status of the pastor compared to the status of the people within the congregation so the pastor got a car the pastor has a new suit the pastor is bowling you know and the congregation has nothing alright so what is he teaching the congregation and what is he gaining from that? Because everything is a profit when you are in the human form and you are formed with that mindset and you are formed with that conditioning, when you are formed with that program, everything is about, about uh, uh, a profit. It's about profiting uh, for yourself, not for others. And that's why people always pick on that. Because they're seeing the profit of the pastor and not the profit of the congregation, you know? And that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you are not just a human being. But because we have been grown into this 3D society by whoever it is, who, whichever forces it is that, that is keeping us, that's keeping us formed in this form of being just a human being. Now that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about all about self-gain all about self-preservation all about fear all about jealousy all about arrogance all about 
uh, hates, all about lust, all about these lower frequencies. That's what a human being has been programmed to show. Now, if you are just a human being and you were taught just to do these things, then you know what, from love and light, we show you the love and we show you the light and we try to change that. You know, we're not forcefully changing it, but we're showing the love and light. Now, I want to tell you that when you switch from a sleeping God, a human being, to the fourth dimensional being that you've always been at default, all right? When you switch from that and you start showing those, those because the fourth dimension is the gateway to the fifth dimension, when you start showing that love and light from the fifth dimension onto this planet, to the people around you, you then switch from self-serving to service to humanity, service to you, yourself. Because everyone on this planet, everyone around you is a projection of yourself. Just in a different body, just in a different skin tone, color, just in um, a diff with a different mindset. But it's all you. And when you understand that, you understand that when you serve others, you're actually serving yourself. Okay? So that's why uh, I, I, I tell you that you need to learn how to be yourself. True self. Godly self. And godly self has godly qualities. Godly self shows love no matter what. Godly self forgives. Godly self shows kindness. Godly self is serving to everyone all right godly self shows unconditional love and that's who you are that's why we don't say i'm a god with that ego godly self shows lack of ego okay it's just humble and it just shows that love that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm i'm i'm, I'm trying to get to that you are more than just a human being, you are a multi-dimensional being. And we can't go back to being just a human being and falling in self-preservation ways when we realize that we are more than just that. And that's why I always say you need to groom the human being. You need to groom the ways of a human being because this is just a vessel. All that has been taught to you is a mindset, is emotions, is your reactions. This is just a vessel. So if you replace those reactions with godly reactions, with godly actions, if you replace that mindset with a godly mindset, if you replace that verbal speech with a godly verbal speech, if you replace the emotions with godly emotions, then guess what? You are now living on 45D. Because you you embody you embodying all of those godly aspects, and a lot of people will disagree and say you can't tame the 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 human. The human should be the human. But the, what is the human? The human is just a bunch of programming, just a bunch of programming that has been programmed to you, the way you should talk, the way you should think the way you should feel, the way you should act. And if you now realize that you are more than just a human and that you are love and light, then don't you think that you should start acting like your true self? Don't you think that you can't go back to doing all that you were doing before you realize that? Because if you do, you would be fake. You would not be your true self. You'll be wearing a mask. The true self is the godly self. The true self is you. Someone who does not think about themselves anymore, but someone who participates in growing humanity, in growing everyone else around you. That's who you are at the core. I'm not talking about on the surface. I'm not talking about programming. I'm not talking about 
all of these things that you've been taught by the media and by social media and by and by people around you and by uh, parents and I'm not talking about that I'm talking about who you are at the core you are love and light you are a multi-dimensional being you are a god that in, in that inhabits or embodies all higher vibrations peace love joy uh, forgiveness happiness you are there to show all of these aspects you are not here to force humanity to change but humanity is always watching humanity is always seeking humanity is always looking for that purpose they're always looking for that purpose they're always saying there's something missing and when you show these aspects that's when humanity will change and that's when you will shift the vibration of humanity. It starts with you. You gotta first embody these vibrations. You gotta first show these vibrations. You gotta first start speaking about these vibrations. You gotta start thinking like this. You gotta start feeling like this, showing that love. When, when humanity expects you to show something else and you show the godly self, it's a shock to them. They don't know how to handle it. They're like, oh, so and so is supposed to be pissed right now, but they're not pissed. They're actually saying, I understand and I forgive you. Wow! That instantly changes the vibration in the room changes the mindset of the person that did you wrong changes the emotions and kills the lower vibrations instantly so you need to show your true self all the time you have to be the true you you can't afford to be just a sleeping god when you have awoken to the truth you can't afford to indulge in the 3D anymore when you know that you are not of the 3D anymore. You are here for a bigger purpose than this brain, this mind can even comprehend. You are here for a huge purpose. You are here to shift humanity into 5D. I did drop a video on 4D, 5D, so you know what I'm talking about when I say these things. You are here for that. Powerful, powerful, powerful things are going to happen and all it takes is you to start being who you know you are. You know you are a multi-dimensional being. You know that you are from source. You, are, you know that you are no, you not only this physical body, that you are more than your physical body. You know that. And it's time that you start acting like that. It's time that you start speaking like that. It's time that you start thinking like that. It's time that you start feeling like that. It's time that you start growing your connection by staying on your path and keep practicing your godly practices. Keep asking for that guidance. Keep, keep connecting your antenna to the higher dimensions. Keep on that path and people will see. Family members that judged you and family members that didn't believe in you they only waiting for actions they only waiting for see the to see the change in you that's all so don't do it for anyone but yourself and when you do it for yourself and show all of these amazing attributes of God for yourself that in turn changes what everyone else thinks about you and what everyone else feels about you and what everyone else will start to change and everyone else will start to change on their own automatically so by serving yourself your true self I'm not talking about your human self your true self the godly self by serving the godly self 
meaning by serving humanity and the collection the collection and humanity starts to change powerful powerful things are about to happen help wherever you can show that love wherever you can it is hard for us to do that because we've been programmed to be self preservation preservative or whatever we only show love and bless ourselves and profit for ourselves and all of these things it's hard to show that for everyone else so when you see a beggar on the street and you moved inside of your mind um, in your third eye and it says your, the voice says hey give him something or give her something it's hard because you're so used to saying hey bugger that what he's begging good for him he needs to find a job it's so hard for you to show these attributes but as soon as you hear the voice inside of you the intuition inside of you you then know that you are more than just a physical body and then you know that that's the godly voice and then you know that you need to follow the godly voice stop doubting the voice stop doubting your inner voice stop doubting your intuition start trusting it in it and when you start trusting in it that's when it'll grow more and more stronger this is your godly aspect this is your higher self okay love in everything love in everything that's why you can't go back to being ignorant to the fact that you are love and light because you would then be living a life of an imposter or a fake life and not being your true self love and light in everything thank you so much for being here this is your boy Saint Lucid signing out saying hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed hit the like button if you like the video and drop a comment if you want to say anything or add anything or if you experienced anything that you want to just share with the world share with yourself basically uh, thank you so much for being here live on the fourth live on the fifth live as a god I leave you all in power 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 in love and light be blissful Thank you so much for being here and watching.